Really? Just I mean, that biscuits because I had biscuits left from Camp Festival. Oh yeah. So if you want a biscuit, no. I so. Do you want a naked bar? Um, I might do in a bit. Yeah. Stop some chocolate craving. Because we're we're going through a bit of a, a no sugar phase, aren't we? Or trying to anyway. Yeah. And you've um, got a little girl who you are actually bringing up to not eat sugar. Yeah, she's really good. That's why she's a fruit a holic, fruit fruitarian. Yeah. Fruitarian. That's a good one. Yeah. I think I think the problem I've got is is my um, fourteen year old, who I have absolutely no control over when he leaves the house to buy you know goes out to buy a bar of chocolate mm -hmm. and, and buys a massive bar of dairy milk or buys a box of cookies and then eats the whole thing. Do you, do you have uh, cakes? Do you make cakes for eating? I make alone? cakes. I make cakes because I know that by buying cakes you're going to get more sugar in them mm. and I think mm. making cakes you can control the amount of sugar you put in them I can make um, like our sugar free banana cake mm. he'll eat that yeah. um, I don't have biscuits I don't really buy biscuits so yeah in the home it's easy to control yeah I guess you can you bake as much as you want in the house eh? yeah I always, I always think that my daughter will get to a point and rebel like if you give her a cake, she she wolves it down. Yeah. And I just think as she gets older, is she gonna go, oh, guess what, there's loads of sugar. I'm just gonna eat it all. She might do. My oldest, who's now 20. Did that happen? I don't know, I was only 10. But I did. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, bought a vegetarian, said he could eat meat when he chose to, and when he was about six, asked for a hot dog. And that was it. Yeah. Says so he's a part-time vegan now. When it comes to cheese, suddenly they're not a vegan. They're not a vegan, or yeah. in his case, it's McDonald's chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bit of cheese I might fit in, but not McDonald's chicken strips. Don't get me started on McDonald's. No, 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 let's not go down the McDonald's route. So, yeah, so sugar, um, try and try and really, really hard to cut it out. It's definitely moment. doable. Like I like warm banana, peanut butter without any sugar in, and massive dollop of Greek yogurt. No, nice. and most people might go, well, that's disgusting, but that is my treat. Yeah, I mean it's a bit of an oxymoron, really, isn't it? Having a baking channel, <laughs> not eating sugar. Yeah, true. But I think because we had a baking business, and I still like cake. Mm, I do I like, like cake. cake. Just I'm oh, getting into healthier baking. <laughs> What are we going to talk about now? We well, talk about Lee's special food box. <laughs> it's up there. It's got alcohol in it. Does it have My dad made me a hamper for Christmas, so it had. He made that box, and he wrote that on it, on it, and it had olives and wine and all nice things in it. Yeah, proper yeah. hamper yeah, and cool. a bottle of Bailey's, and I liked it. And I thought, well, I don't. My dad made that. I don't want to get rid of it. But what can I put in it? So I put on my spirits, my gin and. Everything, because that is special food, isn't it? Special food. <laughs> we went to Camp Festival, didn't we? We did. How did you like Camp Festival? I liked it, but I think because I wasn't very well, as you know, mm. I had, um, I don't know what I had, some sort of illness. Cold. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> that sort of illness. No. Regular ibuprofen with vodka helps. Yeah. And at one point, the vodka actually got rid of my headache, so yes. I think the kids enjoyed it. Mm, yeah. I yeah. know the teenagers enjoyed it. Well, we didn't see them, so yeah. Yeah. They definitely enjoyed it. So they had their own, their own weekend, really, didn't they? Yeah, I've been hearing little bits and pieces about what they've been up to, actually, <laughs> while we weren't around. Some good, of it not bad. All, some of it not all good. Oh dear. Some of it a little bit bad. <gasps> I'm not allowed to say, oh, I've been dear. sworn to secrecy, but at least he's told me. He's told you, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. He wasn't rude. Okay, good. <laughs> It was. Yeah, yeah. Who did you show. see? Fat Boy Slim. Yeah, it was good. Um, Tears for Fears. Ooh, they're an up and coming band. I love Tears for Fears. <laughs> a bit boring. <laughs> what else did we see? Uh, Choring Breaks. Oh, Choring Breaks! Yes. Yeah, so Choring Breaks. breaks. 
I think they looked a little bit scared when they saw us. Yeah, the I'm going, not you again. No. <laughs> Seriously, did they recognise you? Uh, I don't think so. And I tweeted them and I said, Troy Briggs, we're coming to see you. <laughs> bit scary. Uh, We're waiting yeah. for you. That's what I said. Yeah. Did we go, that's the girls from the baking channel. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. They yeah. went, Don't look at them, they might go away. <laughs> We're debating who we like the most. <laughs> Not that we stalk them. If no. they're watching this, they don't need to worry. <laughs> Or we'll lock their doors or anything. But we will see them at Warwick University <laughs> later on in the year. <laughs> and we are at the front. Are we at the front? Mm. Um, oh, I was saw. I saw the Chuckle Brothers. Um, I thought they were going to do one of their sketches, but they did sing some songs. What songs? Quite rude songs, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did go see Jasper Carrot as Who's well, that? and he was rubbish. Was anybody okay. laughing? Not really. Oh. There was a few giggles and everybody kind of cheered him at the end. Polite. Polite. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Drunk and sexist. Great. All in one go. Oh. I'm sure he's a lovely person, but yeah, not that night. No. no. She got halfway through Fat Boy Slim set this year before she said, Pay him back to the tent. That's who Damien reminds me of, funnily enough. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> That's that voice did stick out a bit more. Oh, yeah. Katie B. Didn't know who she was, no. really. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? The weather yeah. was nice, we had nice things to eat. Yeah, we made our own things to take. Yeah, we took some chocolate brownies and flapjacks and our sunshine bars. Yeah. That we've made for the YouTube. Mm, it's a baking bite, isn't it? It is. Oh no, I'll tell you the yeah. best camping food. This is the best camping food. A banana, yeah. right, with the skin on. You slit it down the middle and you put three pieces of dark chocolate in it. Sounds rubbish already. <laughs> <laughs> and you wrap it in tin foil and then after you've cooked all your barbecue food, you put it on the barbecue as it's dying down. Leave it for about a good ten minutes. Ten, yeah, ten minutes until it goes all mushy inside the skin oh, and you so eat it nice. straight out of the skin. Mm. Oh, it's oh, lovely! It's I bet nice. you could sell that at the festival for like oh, yeah. a fiver a go. Yeah, easily. easily. A fiver Maybe a seven night. pound with a dollar. Seven, seven yoghurt. No, if you had a dollar per yoghurt or a pot of yoghurt with it. Mm. Seven pound, easy. People were selling toast. Yeah. Like four pound for no a couple of slices yeah. of toast. This is what toast is the one thing you struggle to make. I'll just go without. Tell me yeah. you didn't buy any. No, you didn't. Quid. No, but but no. Uh, my middle son did. Yeah. But he's got more money than sense. But <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was it. it. Just doing the banana bit. Um, I love that. Rummaging through bins. Do you want that, mate? Yeah. I love it. That kind of thing. Because Ralph Harris was married. We saw him at the festival. We did, yeah. See, there's a theme. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> See, it's making me laugh just thinking about it. How sugar <laughs> do you, Lee? Very well, thank you. I came home from Camp Festival and having eaten everything that we'd taken and thought I'd done really, really well, I opened the freezer door and completely forgotten that I'd got a tin of. Um, homemade, mind you, flapjacks in the freezer. So we've devoured those. That's why I've got chocolate biscuits. Because mm. I had a packet and then my brother came round last night. He's like, great, he always eats all the biscuits. No, he's fasting. I said, I can't make any tea, so I've got any food, but I've got biscuits. He's like, no, I'm fasting today. <laughs> so I ended up eating five. <sighs> but I've only got three left. Huh. It's not already a gluten-free recipe with, you know, that has obviously already been adapted. Anything that's um, got flour in it, you just replace it, don't you? Yeah, a gluten-free flour and potentially and a glu gluten substitute. What's that noise? It's Lee's fridge. <laughs> in the lounge and the door's open and it goes Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> just looking at your Ryan Gosling calendar. It's just having me up. He's just having with a little up. girl. I see. Not him personally, oh. but his Eva Mendes. It's amazing what you find yeah. out when you 
keep stalking people. Until if you had to pick between Ryan Gosling and the Dinosaur Man, <laughs> 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 who would win? Well, that's hard. Uh, probably Ryan Gosling. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit weird, isn't it? You're allowed what? to fancy presenters of CBeebies. If you sit and watch CBeebies <laughs> with a small child, you have to have something to... Fair enough, fair enough. There's only so much Octonauts you can watch. Yeah. I played Sims. The Sims. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Loser. And that's what my husband used to say, because he was into role-playing games. But yeah, I just like pretending that I've got another house and I could decorate it. And, <laughs> and he's like, but that's like normal life. You do that anyway. Yeah. That's... But I get to control somebody. They do what I say. <laughs> Well, I play Escape the Room games, point and click, and uh, two weeks ago, my husband paid for me to do a real one. It was brilliant. It was just, it was where, like a dream come true. <laughs> where, where is it? It's in a pub, the Black Lion, I think. And uh, you just locked in for an hour. They, they took... the, the Black Lion's tiny. But it's upstairs. Yeah, I know, it's tiny though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's Up like there. a tiny, tiny little room. So, so it's not hard to get out and you go, well, there's the door. I'm, I'm just going. Uh, there was a bottle of wine locked in a cabinet. And to get the wine, you had to unlock four padlocks. Nice. It was one of the best things I have ever done. I was a bit worried that I might need a wee while I was locked in this room, so I didn't have anything to drink. To get in a room and yeah. not be shouted at. Come out, come out, come out! Press that, do that, go over there! Before you got a chance to do it. Yeah. Before you got a chance to get a crystal. Oh, Eddie Temple Tudor. Yeah. Mm, from Temple Tudor. I saw him as Jesus Christ in Jesus okay. Christ Superstar at the Belgrade Theatre. So that's a bit of useless information. Yeah. Is he, sorry, going back to the i366, I haven't moved on from that yet. Well, it stops at, it's like a lift, so you get in it at the bottom and it takes you up to the top. I mean, you look around. <coughs> I don't like <laughs> don't like, it's like the London Eye, innit? It's so slow. Yeah. I'm like, I'm really bored now. It is boring. It is boring. 